Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use Word to create custom forms based on existing documents or templates. You simply take a regular document or template as the basis for your form. You then enter the information that you want to remain unchanging or static. Then you insert controls and fields into the form where you would like people to enter information. This is a convenient way to automate a standard printed form that you want people to fill in with information. Using this method, you can create a custom form template that will allow them to simply fill in the blanks in the document. Before you can create custom forms in Word, ensure that you have the Developer tab displayed in the ribbon. Then open the document or template that you want to serve as the basis for your form. Then click the Developer tab in the ribbon. Here you can take advantage of the controls shown in the Controls group to insert various types of fields and controls that allow your users to fill in information within the form. Before you insert form controls, create the parts of the document that will remain static or unchanging. For example, if you are creating a survey form, you may want to create the underlying table into which you will type the questions that the respondents will answer. You can then leave space in the document where you plan to insert the text boxes, check boxes, drop downs, and other controls that you want the respondents to use when completing the survey. To insert a control, start by clicking into the position in the document where you want to insert the control. Then click on the type of control that you want to insert. You can then select the control and set its properties as desired. You can also add helpful text that assists the users in completing the form. We will examine how to set the properties of several common form controls in the following lesson. Now after you've added all of the controls that you would like into the form, you can then protect selected elements of the form from being changed. You can also apply protection to the entire form if you prefer. This process will also be covered in a separate lesson within this chapter. Now once you've applied any form protection that you would like, the only step left is to save the form as a template that you can distribute to other users of Word. To save the document as a template, simply click the Save button in the Quick Access Toolbar if it's a new document in order to open the Save As dialog box, or click the File tab in the ribbon or the Microsoft Office button if you're using Word 2007, and then choose the Save As command if you've already saved it as a regular document once. This time give it a file name and then choose te Word Template from the Save As Type drop-down. Now once you've set the desired options for your template, just click the Save button in the lower right corner of this dialog box to save the template. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.